Hello and welcome to this week's upload and as we are finally in November we are saying goodbye to the past of Halloween and my obsession with ornament pumpkins and we are moving on to Christmas. But first I thought I would talk about my October favourites so here's some of the stuff that I've been loving this month. So starting off with beauty products I have decided now whenever I'm going for boots and there's three for two or anywhere there's a three for two I am going to buy two things I already know I like and one thing that I've never tried before. So I went on a massive boots spending spree buying a very boring stuff like shampoo the other day. But there was quite a lot of makeup fee for two so I picked up a few new products that I'd never tried before. So if we take a little look, I've seen quite a few people talking about the Rimmel foundations. I usually use number seven and I have done for quite a while. And I used to use MAC as well. But now I thought I'd try Rimmel Anti Fatigue Foundation in 100 Ivory because I'm literally the palest person in the history of the world. And then I've got the Match Perfection, which is talked about quite a lot, in 100 Ivory as well. It's got an SPF 20, which is great because the weather's just like glorious and it's not just tipping down with rain and is really grey and miserable. But I'm going to protect my face anyway. I've tried both of these. And I really like them. I think they're really good. I think I prefer the um, Match Perfection one a little bit more because it seems to be a bit thicker for my old lady face that quite frankly needs a trowel to shove makeup on. But this would be very nice for summer or if you just want something light to put on on the school run if you're a little bit tired or maybe you were going to the beach and you wanted a bit of foundation. Like I go to the beach all the time. I never go to the beach. But if I was ever going to go to the beach, I might put that on. So they were good products. I would probably buy that one again and I will keep that for more kind of lighter occasions. Another thing I tried was a primer in the form of the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. It's very similar. It's a lightweight primer and I think it's quite similar to the Pore Professional apart from its see-through. And it goes on really nice. If you put it on with your fingers, though, it does leave a little bit of residue. But it goes on really, really nice. And it's a really good product. Um, and I will probably buy this again. And even though it's only a little tube, I've still got loads left. And I've been using it every day. So I think it will last quite a while. So that's the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer for your face. Eyes-wise, I have re-bought this product. Because this was in the Stilla you know the eyeshadow pack that you get on the aeroplanes? That was in that. Like I get on aeroplanes though. Basically you think I'm like living the life of some days I'm at the beach and when I go on the aeroplanes. I went on an aeroplane once last year and we went to a beach. But anyway, I digress. This was in it. This is Stilla and it's in the flavour, I'm going to call it, but it's coloured Kitten. And it's really nice and shimmery. I've got it on the bottom of my eyes now. That's pretty. Look at that screenshot. I've got it on the bottom of my eyes now and I would always it goes well with browns and dark browns and bronzes or just by itself so still a kitten i love it and i will definitely be buying that again and again and again until it sells out and then i cry smell wise i have purchased this this is amazing grace and it's philosophy um boring story but when i got married i had the grace perfume so i thought I usually get that for Christmas from my mum, so I thought I'd have a little crack at the Amazing Grace. And it's really nice. It's really light fragrance, though. You need quite a lot of it to smell really fresh. But proper love it. It's going to go on my, um, my dressing table over there. And it's a little spritz before I go to work. Beautiful Amazing Grace. Now, some home bits and pieces. I think next week, or in a couple of weeks, I might do like a Christmas home haul. Because I've gone insane. I've gone insane for Christmas stuff. I don't... First it was pumpkins. Now it's stags. There's, there's, I just love them. I just can't... I'm a lover of things. And those things are festive. So I thought I'd show you a couple of things that aren't massively festive. However, with hindsight, one of them is quite festive. But I love this one. Ba -da -ba. It's a light box and it says things I love. But usually, you know. And it lights up. But I haven't quite put any batteries in yet. And I love it, even without the batteries in. So it's a little light box, and I'm going to use it to say things like happy birthday to my daughter, or, you know, Christmas, or doubtlessly someone will put poo on it. My husband will probably put some bum or some rude word. It comes with 69 letters and numbers, and it's really, really nice, and it lives in our living room, which has been recently decorated, and I ruddy loves it. 
So that's one of my non-festive homeware purchases. This I got sent to my PR box. I haven't got a PR box. The PR box is my house. But I thought if I said PR box, you might think I was a little bit posh. But it's my house. This got sent to my house from the glorious dream that is Yankee Candle. And you know I love the candle. This, my loves, <laughs> is called a Yankee Candle centerpiece. And it's got a plug, right? And you plug it in and it heats up. And it means you can smell Yankee candles without the terror of your children tipping said candle over and setting fire to themselves or the house or the guinea pigs or the dog. It's amazing. It's going to go in my fireplace. I'm keeping it wrapped up for now, but I know it's going to be a favourite because um, my husband would go mad if I released a giant snowflake thing in the fireplace he'd be like what the hell's that i'm like mm. so i'm gonna give it two weeks and then that'll be out and the flavors i got sent with it <sighs> such joy we've got sparkling cinnamon yes christmas cookie mm. yes please Ooh. black cherry which is absolutely amazing and one of my favorites and then finally one i've not tried before sparkling snow Mmm, sniff it on Christmas Eve. So, oh, that is the No Flame Yankee Candle Centerpiece. I've needed it in my life forever and now it has arrived and quite frankly, I'm over the moon. So that's my October favourites. We had a little bit of, a little bit of makeup, a little bit of homeware stuff. Oh, I forgot the other thing. This is my new clothes that I like. But I think I might look a little, little bit like a sheep herder in it. Everything fell off. Oh, one last thing. This is a gillette or a gillet or a gillet. Gilly gillet. I don't know. It's a thing you wear over things. I love it. It's from H&M. But when I put it on, you know when you put things on, you the half goes, oh yeah, that looks nice. And then walks off and you think, oh my God, he thinks I look like an actual sheep herder. But I care not. I'm going to wear it and I'm going to love it. And it's really nice and soft. So that is my new purchase I love that I have been wearing in October. That's it. I shall see you next week for probably a Christmas home haul, I think. I might do that. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. And have a lovely week and see you soon. Bye.